What's going on everyone? My name's Derek up north and today I'm going to be breaking down a Transformer that is well loved and well known across the entire Transformers fan base. That's right, we're going to be talking about Optimus Primal. Now, before we do any of that, guys, please like this video, sub to the channel for more Transformers content, and let me know in the comments which Transformer you want me to break down next. Alright, without further ado, let's take a look at Optimus Primal. Optimus Primal is a beloved character from the Transformers franchise, and he made his first TV appearance in 1996 as the protagonist of the hit animated series, Beast Wars. He comes from the distant planet of Cybertron, and Optimus Primal's character history is deeply intertwined with the epic conflict between the Autobots and the Decepticons. In the Beast Wars series, Optimus Primal leads a group of heroic Maximals who crash land on prehistoric Earth while pursuing a group of villainous Predacons. His mission is to protect the time stream, prevent any alterations to the course of history, and ensure a positive outcome for the Autobot cause in the future. He adopts the name Optimus in honor of the great Autobot leader, Optimus Prime, and Primal to signify his primal instincts and connection to nature. Now I know his name seems so familiar and it sounds very close to Optimus Prime and there has been some confusion as to whether or not these are the same characters, but I'm happy to tell you they're completely separate characters. Optimus Primal is simply just the namesake of Optimus Prime. As a Maximal Leader and a Transformer, Optimus Primal possesses numerous powers and abilities. He has immense strength, durability, and the ability to transform into various forms. His primary form is that of a Silverback Gorilla, which grants him incredible physical power, agility, and a strong sense of justice. In this form, he often engages in combat using his brute force and combat skills to protect his allies and battle the Predacons. In his robot mode, he was equipped with twin maces for battering opponents and dual-barreled cannons on his forearms. He can also launch rockets from his shoulders and is equipped with jets on his back that grant him flight. Now that's just his basic form, let's take a look at his transmetal form. After his original body was destroyed by the detonation of the Vok Planet Buster, Optimus was restored to life in a new transmetal body. As well as being physically stronger, this new body afforded Optimus a variety of new weapons and enhanced abilities. His flight ability was reassigned to his beast form, and he rode the skies on what appeared to be a rocket-propelled surfboard. In robot mode, he retained his twin maces, though his shoulder rockets were replaced by heavy plasma cannons fitted to an over-the-shoulders harness. He also carried a new sidearm, a cone-shaped handgun that fired concussive blasts. Optimus Primal also had a third form, which was incredibly powerful and also granted him a new name, Optimal Optimus. This Transmetal 2 form was acquired when Primal temporarily joined his spark with that of his ancestor, Optimus Prime. Even after returning Prime Spark to his body, Primal retained this awesomely powerful form. Optimal Optimus was huge compared to the other Maximals. He was large and strong enough to squash most of the Predacons underfoot, and his armored body was resistant to most weapons. His arsenal consisted of heavy automatic cannons and missiles, which could be used in any of his alternate modes, and his beast mode was seldom used and differed little from his robot mode. He sported two vehicle modes, one an armored tank, the other a powerful aerial gunship. Now Optimus Primal had incredible relationships with his fellow Maximals, and let's talk a little bit about that. Optimus Primal's relationships were vital to his character development and leadership. He formed deep bonds of camaraderie and friendship with his teammates, including Cheetor, Rattrap, Rhinox, Dinobot, and many others. He served as a mentor and guide to the younger Maximals like Cheetor, instilling in them the values of courage, loyalty, and teamwork. But one of Optimus Primal's most important relationships is with Rhinox, his trusted friend and chief scientist. Rhinox often serves as Optimus Primal's voice of reason and a source of technical expertise. Their friendship is pivotal in the face of numerous challenges, and Rhinox's unwavering loyalty and wisdom greatly influence Optimus Primal's decision making. And while his relationships with his fellow Maximals is relatively healthy, what kind of hero would he be if he didn't have one really bad relationship with one really bad dude? So let's talk about it. 
As the leader of the Maximals, Optimus Primal faces notable rivalries that shape his character and leadership style. But his most significant rivalry is with Megatron, the leader of the Predacons. Megatron seeks to alter history and reshape the universe to benefit the Decepticon cause. Their clashes represent the eternal struggle between good and evil, with Optimus Primal's unwavering belief in justice and his dedication to the Autobot cause serving as a counterpoint to Megatron's destructive ambitions. Now, Optimus Primal has been in different sources of media. We're talking Beast Wars, we're talking Beast Machines. Uh, there's a Beast Wars comic, there's an old Beast Wars comic. He's been in a ton of different Transformers TV shows, but his most recent appearance can be witnessed in the film Transformers Rise of the Beasts. In this movie, he continues to lead the Maximals in a battle against the Decepticons, who have taken on new alternate forms and infiltrated Earth cities. The film showcases Optimus Primal's leadership skills, his ability to adapt to new challenges, and his unyielding determination to protect both the planet and the Autobot legacy. And that is just a little bit about Optimus Primal. Guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more Transformers content, and don't forget to let me know which Transformer we should break down next. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Well, that's just prime.